Hi kids, today we're going to look at how to care for your trombone and do a simple warm up. So I've got my trombone all put together. I'm just going to use the mouthpiece at first. Every week you should be cleaning out your mouthpiece. The best way to do it is with the mouthpiece brush. And the best way to use your brush is this way. Put it in and yank it out. You can put it in a little bit this way too and yank it out. And that, get, that loosens all the deposits that may have gathered in your mouthpiece. But an even better way to do it is to put it under warm running water, rub the brush on a bar of soap, or put some foaming soap on the brush, and then brush the mouthpiece out and run water through it to give it a better cleaning. Uh, you might also want to soap it in here, clean it out, clean the outside with good soap, and then rinse it thoroughly and dry it. And then you have a nice clean and hopefully shiny mouthpiece. And you could see right through it, and you could see that it's clean inside. All right, so that's cleaning your mouthpiece. Then the next thing is cleaning the tubes of the trombone, and it's a very simple operation. In fact, the trombone is probably the simplest of all the wind instruments to maintain and clean, and it's the most simple, simplest in construction. So um, our slide comes apart from the bell section. And the slide also comes apart into two pieces. So I'm going to unlock the slide and bring it out like that. So first, I want to be able to clean the insides of the slide. So you should go to your bathtub or a very large basin so you can run water through these tubes at the same time that you put a snake brush through. Okay, so the snake brush is about that long. And so it'll make it all the way through every tube of the trombone. So here's how to do it. You put the brush in, you run some water in. Under running water is the best way. That means any deposits that are loosened by the brush will be washed away right away. And then you follow it with the other end of the brush. So you're brushing it out twice. Run water through it. That should be enough. Then you do the same thing with the other tube. So we're brushing out the inner slide. All right. I put that down. And then... We're going to brush out the outer slide. Now the outer slide doesn't have an opening here except to empty water and the brush won't fit through that. So you put the brush in and it pushes easily. Then when you come up to the curve, it gets harder to push. So you push it through the curve for a few inches and then pull it back out. And the best way to do it is with some running water going through it. The same thing on the other side. Put the brush in, keep pushing until it meets the curve. It gets a little harder to push. Push it further. Don't push it in because that's going to be an emergency. You're not going to be able to get that brush out without doing something pretty extreme. So don't push it all the way in. You take it back out. And that will clean this out adequately, and especially if you're rinsing it out under warm running water. Occasionally, you'd want to brush it out using soap and then rinse it real well. So let's say every month uh, you'd want to do this procedure with your mouthpiece, with your, with your um, slide brush, with your snake brush. But every week, your mouthpiece with the mouthpiece brush.
Okay. Now, before I put the slide back, I want to take the inner slide and I want to wipe it off real good. Try and get all the old dirt and grease and water and slide cream and whatever you had on it. And while I'm at it, I wipe just inside the edge too. Okay, then I like to use slide cream. And here's a slide cream that I like to use. Okay, that's what I like to use. And uh, maybe your mom or your grandma um, have used in the past cold cream to remove their makeup. Well, this is very much like cold cream. Um, it's a soft, creamy substance that you can put on your finger and then apply to the lower part of the slide. And you'll see that the lower part of the slide is called the stocking, is a little wider than the rest of the slide. So this is going to come in closer contact with the inside of your outer slide tube. So I put a good layer of slide cream on. Try not to get any over the edge, up to the edge, but not over it. So we don't want slide cream hanging out inside the tube. So I try to distribute it evenly all around the stockings of my inner slide. And this will allow the slide to move with less friction. It'll give it kind of a silky feeling as you move the slide in and out. And then the icing on the cake is spray water. And good trombone players are going to be spraying their slide with water every few minutes that they play to maintain the best and fastest and most friction-free slide movement. So I'm spraying it pretty completely with water before putting the slide together. And here we go, putting that slide together. Okay, so I put on a lot of cream, so there's a little bit of excess for me to wipe off. So I'll just take my rag, wipe off the excess cream. And that does it. Now this slide, if you hold it at a slight downward angle, it should start sliding out on its own like that. All right, so you want it as frictionless as possible. Okay, I'm going to lock the slide. And at this part of the trombone, you can also use your snake brush, putting it in here under running water and around. And that cleans this section of tube and, you know, just rinse it out, run water through. Um, this is a movable slide. It's your tuning slide. And the tuning slide, I would recommend every few months as you do a complete cleaning of the trombone, you wipe down these intersections of the slide and vigorously wipe off the old grease and apply new grease. And you apply, apply the new grease sort of like we did the cream, but just in a little bead near the edge, but not getting it over the edge. And I'd like to go for a nice thick grease like the one made by Bach. That's a good brand of grease. So then I apply the slide. And with some constant pressure, I can move the slide and set it anywhere I want to be best in tune. And it'll stay there. Okay. With that all done, we put the trombone together. I'm going to empty the water. With all that spray water, some of it gets to the bottom there. It needs to be emptied. Okay, now I'm going to show you a simple warm up. 
So the instructions for this warm-up are to take a slow, full breath before each note, playing each note good and long, and that would mean eight to, ten, eight to 10 seconds per note. And make sure each note comes out clear, steady, and in tune from the beginning to the end of the note before moving to the next note. So you may have to redo your note now and then just to get the clearest, steadiest, most in tune note. Let's start with low B flat. So pick up your trombones and let's play a low B flat together. Big breath. And yes, you want to use pretty much your whole breath playing the trombone from the top of your lungs to the bottom. All right, let's go to the next note. And we're going to go up for this warm up. So the next note up is seventh position. Now, you young players might not be able to reach seventh position, but I'll give you a tip. If your arm isn't long enough yet, you can crawl your fingers up to here the very edge of the tube instead of grabbing the bar and then straighten out your hand, fingers and arm and move your shoulder forward and just go as far as you can. And that'll get you much closer to seventh position. And if you have trouble reaching sixth position, this is also a good strategy for sixth position. As long as you can take and grab this real quick and get it back in to play your next note. So seventh position is so far out that the stocking of the slide right about there, do you see where it is? The stocking of the slide starts to show, maybe for an inch, seventh position. All right, that was a B natural. Now we come into C, low C. And that was sixth position. Now we go to fifth position, C sharp or D flat. Now fourth position, D, which from the edge of the bell is out just a few inches. Third position, E flat. Almost to where the edge of the bell is. I like to put my fingernails on the bell so I can make sure I have E flat. But then when I play the E flat, I don't touch the bell anymore. It was third position, E flat, now E natural. Second position, so it's exactly halfway between third and all the way in. Second position. Great, now we're up to first position, middle F. Let's play it. Now follow me here. We're going to use our first position notes that we've already played, F and low B flat, to do a lip slur. Again, everyone together. So that's playing one long tone that changes pitch. You're only tonguing at the beginning. Let's move up to the note above F. That's fifth position, F sharp. Then fourth position, G. Very good. Third position, A flat. Uh, 
Second position, A natural. And don't forget always to take a big breath and really push the air out when you buzz your lips. Okay, we have middle B flat now. Now, let's use all of these first position notes that we've played, low B flat, middle F, upper B flat, to do a big lip slur. Let's go reverse direction, low B flat going up to F and upper B flat. Now let's link all of those notes together in a five note slur, starting at the top. And then a five note slur in reverse, starting and ending at the bottom. And that's the end of our trombone care tips and simple warm-up. So have fun with that. See you next time.